Hi. Hello, everybody. Good Thursday morning, everybody. Welcome to your Christmas Trilogy 2021, part number one. I told you I was going to have my hat. There's my hat. What do you think? Smash that like button if you like my hat. And I didn't plan on wearing this shirt, but I got up this morning. Let me morning. I got up the morning, or got up, and it's a, it's a new shirt, so, hey, I just grabbed it and put it on. I, did, I wasn't planning on wearing the Gator shirt, along with the Gator. Same hat, but, <laughs> it's what it is, but, Merry Christmas 2021 Christmas Trilogy, for your days of praise. This is your episode 576, part 1. And what I'm going to do after I record this one, I'll record tomorrow's video. I'll record the video for tomorrow, which is Friday, Christmas Eve. And then I'll turn around and record Saturday's video, which is the Christmas video. But I'm going to do them back to back. And then I'll turn around and record today's uh, part two and turning point video. And we'll have the hat on those. but And then the part two for Saturday will also have the hat so so I'm just just giving you a full warning on that one but here is the Christmas it was originally planned to be a Christmas six pack because there was six videos or six uh, devotions all lined up in the same thing but the other three just never did didn't have a Christmas feel to it, so I changed it from the six pack to a, a trilogy. So I thought and the other trilogy, I'm probably just gonna I'm just gonna add those to the Duh series. So it's gonna be a Duh trilogy for those three days. But today we're gonna be talking about the peace of Christ. Tomorrow we'll be talking about the Babe in Bethlehem. For number two. And then the number three. The, the third video. Will be the gifts of the wise men. On Saturday. For Christmas. So those. The gifts of the wise men. Have, have the best feel. For that day. The babe in Bethlehem. Fits good because Jesus was born. At right around midnight. So you could say Christmas Eve. You can just do it like that way. But he wasn't born around midnight. He was born around like ten o'clock. Ten o'clock on Christmas, and I believe it was in what September, October, Octoberish, Septemberish, Octoberish is when the actual birth of Jesus was. Because back then they didn't have the, the calendar dates. I don't know. I don't remember what it, what how they said they moved it to December, but they moved it after the winter salt winter the winter season began, and that's the way it's been here for ages. December twenty fifth, <laughs> but but each of these have, have have the feel to it for the Christmas the Christmas feel coming up this weekend. So. But I hope everyone's having fun. If you like my hat, smash that like button. If you're ready for this Christmas trilogy, smash that like button. Comment something. Comment your Christmas greetings to me. You could do it in this one. You could do it in tomorrow's video. Or you could do it in Saturday's video. It don't matter. Just leave a positive Christmas greeting in the comment section. If you don't mind. But today we're going to be talking about the peace of Christ. And we're going to begin with John 14, verse 27. Subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications, and share the video and channel with your family and friends and help me reach that goal of 100 subscribers by January the 15th, which will be episode 600, which now we're down to 24 days until that day so 
Get on the ball, people. Get on the ball. Let's get that. Let's get those. Get that number up on my subscriber list. Because right now I'm sitting at seven known seven subscribers, and one is me. Because I had to, that new channel I had to start because my Google account messed up. It's a reason for that one, and I had already clicked to subscribe to my original channel because I was trying to get a link between the two channels. So, just in case I can, I still haven't figured that out yet. I need, I would like to get those other videos linked to my original channel. If somebody knows that, put that in the comment section and let me know. If somebody knows how to do that, put it in the comment section. So, this might be a little longer video than usual, so. I'm just trying to get going and explain myself. But, the peace of Christ, John 14, 27 says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So the pre... The, excuse me, sorry about that. So the peace of Christ is not the peace of the world. And if history is any criterion, the search for world peace always will be futile. For there has been, been wars going on somewhere in the world practically every day throughout history. But if even the world leaders could bring peace to the world, it would not be true peace. My peace, said Jesus, is not as the world giveth. And peace is eternal, not eternal external from whence come wars and fightings among you come they not come they not hence even of your lust that the war in your members James 4 verse 1 so the true Christian will never be left the peace in the world even when there are brief respites of peace between the nations of the world and only in Christ is there real peace Amen. John 16:33 says, "These things I have spoken unto you, that in that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer; I have overcome the world." Amen. I love that. I love that part of the passage. I have overcome the world. I love it. So the Lord Jesus alone can give the true peace. For only he is our peace. Ephesians 2, 14. He is the true peacemaker. For he made peace through the blood of his cross. Colossians 1, verse 20. So before there can be ever be genuine peace between man and man on earth. Between one man and another man on earth. There must be peace between man on earth and God in heaven. So to be peace between us, general people, one person to another, that may, there must be peace between those people and God before we can have peace between us. You, you get what I'm trying to say on that one? So once a person has been justified by faith, however, he has eternal Peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 5 verse 1. And then for daily peace he can simply appropriate the truth in his life. This truth in his life. And Philippians 4 6 and 7 says finally. This is the final passage. It says in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Amen. So the so the peace uh, and the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. That is a key verse right there. Philippians four verse seven. So I'm hoping y'all are writing your verses down and when I'm when I'm quoting them so you can look them up in your own Bibles and be and be good. So that is all I have for your Christmas trilogy number one. 
the peace of Christ. Coming up in your tomorrow's video, and which will be episode 577, part 1. And it will be the Christmas Trilogy number 2. For Friday, December 24th, Christmas Eve, we're going to be talking about the Babe in Bethlehem. Starting with Micah 5, verse 2. Stay tuned to that. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and get to that in just a few minutes. But you'll see that tomorrow. But let me give you a quick heads up for the this today's video the rest of today's videos. First off at one o'clock we're gonna we're gonna hear about how they'll know from Mike Whitmer. And this is part two of five seventy six. And that this one will be derived from Acts 11, verse 19 through 26. But, on the second note, your um, bonus Christmas Devo from the, uh, ten, the 10 Christmas Reflections book for day 4, we're going to be Dreaming at Christmas from Tim Gusterson. And the passage is Matthew 2, 13 through 21. And your main verse is Matthew 2.18. That would be... And then your turning point at 7 for Thursday, December 23rd um, episode one, 118, I believe. I believe we're on 118. We're going to be recognizing Jesus starting with John 1 verse 12. Which will read in the recommended reading section of John 1, 1 through 14. Your turning point is from Malcolm B. Yarnell, Y A R N E L L, and then there's an excerpt from the first the first section of the devotion from Al Alex, Alex Silby. I'll read I'll read the rest of the of the excerpt of the footnote. That's what it is. The footnote. But I'll show it to you in that video when I record it. I'll show I'll show you the the footnote on the bottom of the page so so you can see that. So with that said, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry for the little longer than usual video, but stay tuned for those two vi two other videos today at one o'clock and seven o'clock, and come back tomorrow or. And be back tomorrow for a Christmas trilogy number two, The Babe in Bethlehem. And as soon as I re finish recording this one, I'm going to turn around and do that one. I'm doing all three of my, all three of the trilogy videos to get in one block. And then I'll go back and record um, the part two and the turning point for tomorrow or for today. And then sometime later today I'll get in and fin and do the uh, part twos for Friday and Saturday and the turning point for Friday. So, but stay tuned. I love you and I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on and trust in God. He'll keep you safe and all you say and do. And Merry Christmas everybody. If I don't say, I'm, this is a Christmas trilogy so I have to say it. Merry Christmas and have a Happy New Year. I'll, I'll say it again in tomorrow's video and the Saturday video of Christmas Day video. So you're going to be hearing me say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year at the end. So, so I'm just forewarning you that one. But up until then, I'll see you next time. I'll see you later. Goodbye.